This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it, man. Uh, Eagles, Eagles are looking at Lucas Van Ness. Um, uh, he's currently in Philly, visiting pre-draft visit, and um, uh, the name that I did hear buzzing as much, but I'm hearing it buzz more and more. Shout out to my guy Philly Mike. I see him do his um uh, breakdown of a mock draft on one of the guys. I can't remember his name, and the guy had uh. Us picking Lucas Van Ness at 10. They hear this day as much. And even when I heard it the first time, I heard like more late first round, early second round. But for him to jump from that to 10 and the projections, that's really good. So I, I can't really put it here, but I see his combine very athletic, ran like a 4 6 or like close to the 4 6 4, 4 7, like in that range. But he is 6 5, 270. He's a really good edge rusher. You can move him around a lot. He could play the edge. He could play uh, in the nose, the tackle. He reminds me of Milton Williams. He reminds me of Milton Williams. See, the difference between him and Milton Williams coming out of college when Milton Williams was at Louisiana Tech. He was like, well, he's good. He's strong. He got the ball rush. Um you know, they compare everybody to uh, Aaron Donald. They're like, he's strong as Aaron Donald, this and that. Talking about Milton Williams, but he haven't played the competition. Whereas, though, this is different. He was at Iowa. He played the top tackles that's probably coming out. I'm talking about to the uh, Paris Johnsons. I'm talking about to the Peter Sonowski, if I'm saying his name right, or Peter S., I would call him. And what's the film or the game tape I would show right here. And um, let's just get into it. I'm going to play some game tape, and I'm going to get you see, I gave my positives, but let me get like uh, some negatives here and there that I see. But let, let's start off with this uh, first one right here. I think this is it. No, it's not. All right, here we go. So this is him versus the top tackle coming out to drive, Peter Sonowski or Peter S. So here we go. You see he lined up look like what you could say, uh, what, three-point stance or, you know, I uh, I'm going out of my range here, but obviously three, four, I would say here. And uh, but let's go ahead and play it. The bull rush, not Peter on his behind, and he gets to the quarterback. Look at that. That's strength. Very athletic, strong. Um, can can definitely bull rush for sure. But let's get into another clip right here. Let me hide this right here. Um, let me rewind this. This clip right here shows his athleticism. Crowd wants to throw it to the tight end, Kate Stove, right here. Watch, Benson kind of grabs him and then makes it hard for him to get out of his break. And right there, besides throwing it and forcing it, Stroud tries to run and then he is contacted. And it, Stroud wants to throw it to the tight end, Kate Stove, right here. Watch, Benson kind of grabs him and then makes it hard for him to get out of his break. And right there, besides throwing it and forcing it, Stroud tries to run and then he is contacted. And it, Stroud wants to throw it to the tight end. Then Kate Stover right here. Watch Benson kind of grabs him and then makes it hard for him to get out of his break. And right there, besides throwing it and forcing it, Stroud tries to run and then he is contacted. And it Stroud wants to throw it to the tight end. Kate Stover right here. Watch Benson kind of grabs him and then makes it hard for him to get out of his break. And right there, besides throwing it and forcing it, Stroud tries to run and then he is contacted. And it let it. Stroud wants to throw. Let's get into this last clip right here. So this is the guy that been getting a lot of hype, uh, Paris Johnson, which is well deserved, well deserved. So these are two top tier offensive tackles he he played against. But let's look at it right here. Let's look at this clip, um, him versus uh, Johnson. Bull rush, get to him. Um, I didn't want to show too much of this clip if I don't get demonetized now. Um. My problem with him is, as you guys see, it's the bull rush. The bull rush is great, but he got to add more tools or whatever you want to say to his arsenal. He need more versatility as far as do you got a swim move and you spin, even though the spin, if you're going into the spin move, that means you, you almost you lost the battle pretty much. But who is he without the bull rush? We're talking about the NFL. You're going against the best guys in the league. So if that bull rush ain't working, 
it, it, he's probably useless. I, I didn't see anything that pop out like, oh, he got to move. Like when you look at a Javon Hargrave, what made Javon Hargrave so versatile is that he got the ball rush. He could swim, spin. He, he could do it all, Javon Hargrave. Uh, when you think of Brandon Graham, could do it all. Hassan Reddick is more of a ball rush type guy. Josh Sweat is a bull rush type guy, but they got moves as well if they need to go into it. Whereas though with him, it's bull rush or nothing. I see some bad team like if that bull rush ain't getting there, it it, it is it's like he's he he can't do nothing else. So um, I would say if it was him and B John Robinson on the board, I'm still taking B John. I think B. John is still the better player. But if he's around 25, 26, and the Eagles really want him, I can see them trading up to get him. Um, you know, it, I, I think the moves I'm talking about states that can be learned because you see the development of a Milton Williams. So, um, I, like I said, I don't see him being the 10th overall, in my opinion. But if you go late first, I can see how we possibly doing it, but I won't be surprised if a team reach get them like at 15, 16 in that range. But yeah, man, the, the kids future is bright. He just got a couple things to learn. Uh, whatever team he go to, they better have a heavy rotation because he, he didn't start any games. He was a part of rotation. Whereas though with the Eagles, that would help because None of our defensive ends or defensive linemen get a lot of minutes. We rotate a lot. You could keep fresh legs on the field. Like Hassan Reddick and uh, Josh Sweat, they rotate with Brandon Graham a lot. We had throw, like, uh, uh, none of these guys coming in in my head. But, you know, one of the younger guys in there, too, like a Patrick Johnson, we had throw them in there as well. So... Yeah, man, uh, whatever team he go to, you can't expect heavy minutes out of him because he didn't do it really at college. So is he good at heavy minutes? I don't know. But if he comes to the Eagles, that really wouldn't even matter. But, yeah, man, what do you think and how do you feel about this? Uh, should he come to Philadelphia? Like I said, different setup. Don't got the gray square. I'm very small right here. But this is Eagle Al. I'm up.